Good day, traders. The four-step method to high-performance trading and the free audio program, the seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders, are both free downloads to help you develop the skill set, the mindset, the discipline to master the markets. The link is down below in the box, the description box. They're both free downloads. Let's get started. Good day, traders. Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading, and today we're going to be talking about three-session parabolics and opportunities in the Asian and London sessions. So, one of the unique characteristics that tends to be fairly consistent the majority of the time is that there are no major red news during the Asian and London sessions. Now, obviously, we do get uh, major red news announcements that do occur in those sessions, but not as frequently as in the U.S. session. One of the things that I look for, and we talk about this in the playbook, is no major red news being on the calendar. And so when we have U.S. sessions that do not have any major red news on the calendar, I, I often state to trade the setup as per normal. Often with the U.S. session, traders are, are frequented by more volatility or delayed volatility heading into a news catalyst and then big volatility after, and they find it difficult to trade those sessions sometimes. The good thing about the Asian and the London session, again, is that the majority of time we have no major red news. We just have normal trading. And so coming back to looking for best trade setups, three session parabolics, meaning that if it's London, obviously it could be a U.S. session, peak formation high, peak formation low, as we're looking at today's uh, London session. Now, yesterday's video, we talked about that. The parabolic day zero type of setup is peak formation high or low, peak formation, high or low, and then a consolidation inside. Now you'll also notice we have three levels of fall from the peak formation, uh, 25, double zeros, 75, and we get into the third level and the market goes into the close, into consolidation and trades sideways. We trade sideways down at the quarter level, the 75 level, and the market breaks higher later in the Asian session. We're inside of the peak formation low. So we're not trading this. We're inside of the peak formation low. Peak formation high, peak formation low, consolidation, and heading into our Europe-London wind window, we get a vertical move. Now, believe it or not, on this particular day, we did have major red news, the GBP claimant count. If we just zoom in on this, again, we put on, we can just put on our universal five-minute entry criteria. Heading into the news, so coming back to the underlying premise of going after the money, we have shorts in the market from yesterday's U.S. session. So even just inside after our news, uh, news the uh, major red news from the U.S. session, we have traders in the money short. We had our peak formation low and consolidation and a vertical move that continued with a first bounce after the GBP claim count. And that continued to head towards back the U.S. session high. So we have U.S. session high, Asians inside, and the parabolic reversal on the inside is in the London session. Now, again, this is not, you, you have 8, 12 hours to look at this chart and form a thesis. But this is a fantastic opportunity on a day two, and remember we have a market that broke down. So the first target is gonna be where the breakout traders are, and you'll notice on that major red news, the first thing they did was spike into that breakout level. Most breakouts fail. After major red news, traders have the opportunity to position themselves in the existing reversal trend back towards the high of the US session for a creeping but easy 25 to 50 pip move depending on where they get filled and how long they held this trade. So coming back to three session parabolic setups, peak formation high, peak formation low, this is the setup that occurs whether it's in the Asian session, the London session, we're looking at the British pound, obviously we had uh, in London, the British pound has probably a higher frequency of movement during the London session. We could look at the same thing with the Euro. Uh, GBP major red news. So we can look at the Euro as the uh, preferred candidate because 
the British pound being major red news, maybe the quote unquote hot chick heading into the session. We have double zeros. We have a mark that made a higher high into the close of the session. The market breaks above that. Peak formation high, peak formation low, consolidation, breakout, continuation, heading into our Europe-London window. As the window opens, we have a thesis formed. Our universal entry criteria is met. So I talked about front side, back side. So traders want to get in right away, and then the market comes back down and they get stopped out. They say, yeah, but I got stopped out. I was on the right side. No, you're front side here. The market needs to be backside and then continue the move. That is the dump and pump heading into the session window. We're already on the inside. The market has already flipped the book. They dump it down. The session opens. They continue our trade. Our universal entry criteria is met. Again, whether it's 25, 100, or 50, the point of the trade itself is, is it a high probability 90-10 opportunity? Where is my stop going to go? Where's my profit target? How should this behave once I'm in the trade? Well, it certainly should not pull back against us. We have a one bar stop. And again, an example of how tight some of the major pairs can be when you enter these types of trades. Now, no major red news on the euro. British pound had major red news. We could look at other pairs that may trade strongly during that London window. There are several examples you can scroll back to look for what candidates are in terms of what a well-engineered chart should look like. We have peak formation high, peak formation low. This is the 6th of April. Again, our consolidation in the Asian session trades back into the peak formation low forms a bottom, a higher high into our Europe London window. We can put our universal EMA on there for we have low hanging fruit, lower highs inside of major round numbers. And just stepping back and understanding the psychology behind these trades, peak formation high, peak formation low, the consolidation traps traders trading into the low. They keep it down there before they start the pump and dump back up. Now, again, I want to emphasize, I don't care if it's 25, 50, or 100 pips. If it's an easy trade setup, and it offers me an opportunity in the session that I'm trading for easy money, that's all I'm looking for. This is easy money. The market goes vertical. People say, where do you, where do you get out? Where do you get in? Show us your entries. Where's your take profit target? You don't define that. It's very clear. It's once you're in this trade, okay, and we already know where we're getting in. That's well defined in the playbook. Once we're in this trade and we take out these levels, it's a timing factor. Once we clear that quarter, we're into the London Open. We're into the second 15-minute candle. And I'm on a shorter time frame. I'm going to be locking in this money, as, it's, as Bill McLaren said, as it's blowing off through the high. I have no illusions that this trade is going to go another 100 pips. We're inside of the peak formation high and low, and we're on a downward moving market. This is a stop hunt, a vertical stop hunt, up into the quarter level on low hanging fruit in a downward moving market. They've, this market goes vertical and takes out the lower high of the US session. We've been in this trade one hour. We've gone vertical. I'm locking in the money. That's my session trade. now. Somebody asked again this morning, well, yeah, but is it a five-star best trade setup? Like, why is it, is it a best? Every single trade like this is a best trade candidate. This is a parabolic setup. When, when you understand what parabolic means, you understand why it's a best trade setup. There's no analysis paralysis. The market is going vertical. That's when I want to be in the market. We came to the U.S. session. We had major red news. This market went vertical. That's when I want to be in the market, when it's going to collapse. I could sell the high of the day over here in London and sit there for five or six more hours and then say I sold the high of the day. How much size do you want to put in and then wait? I want to put a position in and add into it as it's about to blow off. That's where I'm going to scale in. I'm not going to scale in up here and hold on to it for five hours and say I, hold the, I held the high of the day. 
where and when would you go to break even on this trade? Where is your take profit? Are you going to hold on to it for three more days? I'm looking to enter the market as it's about to go vertical. Take some off. If you're going to hold on to a trade on a first red day, a first red day that's eventuating, and leave a trailer, I'll take 80% of that off, 90% of that off, and leave a trailer. High the week trade. Maybe because it's going to go day one, day two, day three. But I'm going to lock in the bulk of the money. That's it. I'm done. Take the money, put it in your account, and walk away. We can look at Asia. We have a market that's put in a peak formation high on a breakout of the high of the day on our day one Monday. And I know we have other breakout traders in the market already. We have peak formation high, peak formation low. The market goes and puts in a low beside that peak formation later in the session. Still forms our peak formation low. And the market trades back down into that in our Asian window. We have a market now that as the new session opens in Asia has potentially locked in the low of the day with a micro W formation. This is an area and an example of when I will go to a smaller time frame to enter a trade like this. Why? Because I can get a better fill heading into the second hour rather than waiting on the five minute. Now I'm already on the front side of this move that I have a thesis is about to go parabolic back through the high of the day. Again, an example of being in and as the trade is potentially accelerating, adding into this, and as it goes vertical and blows off, locking in the money. Why? Because I want it in my account. I want to keep it there and I want to take it and that's it. That's the trade. But again, an example of a market that's gone sideways inside of the peak formation into our new session where this particular instrument may trade with a vertical move if a, a setup eventuates in our Asian window. Traders had an opportunity um, very similar with gold today. And we talked about parabolic setups yesterday, the, the same scenario, peak formation high, peak formation low. This market had moved up three levels of rise made a higher peak formation low into the new window and then proceeded to do the same thing and move higher until we get to our U.S. session window. We have a market that has put in a peak formation low on top of the zeros and a peak formation high below 50 heading into our U.S. session. Peak formation low, peak formation high, consolidation. So for the traders who still are struggling with this or don't see the rationale behind this particular trade setup. Uh, you don't have to trade it. It's entirely up to you. But again, I'm looking for parabolic opportunities and this is how they set up. Peak formation high, peak formation low, consolidation. Now, an excellent question was where would you get in for your fill price? This is a death candle right here. That locked in the entire upper consolidation and I start to add there. On the one minute chart, again, this is where the understanding the time of day is critical. We have a market that is into the third 15 minute candle. If this is going to blow off and we're into the third 15 minute candle, when might this blow off? We're inside of the EMA as we close the third 15 minute candle and the new one starts, we have our engulfment at the quarter level, which begins the acceleration down through the low of the day. I want to point something out. Uh, one trader said, oh, it's an inside day. Well, I thought, oh, how can you trade that? And, you know, again, study this template. This is a very specifically well-engineered chart. We're on day three down, day one, day two, day three, three levels of rise. Day three typically will blow off in the direction of the trend. We have a failed breakout that gave us a double bottom formation on Monday's low of the day. We have our low of the day in Asia sitting slightly above that. Now I talk about lifting the offers, lifting the offers. That is often when they will continue to lift price. They lift candles and traders are continuously trading higher. If you're not sure what that means, go study market maker behavior. Uh, penny stock manipulation, they will lift offers and run 
shares up. And when they want to dump it, they pull all the bids out of the market. They're they're putting dummy bids in, lifting the offer, and getting the market to rise. We have a peak formation high, peak formation low, three levels of rise. We're trading into the high of the day. Now think about this. Where's our death line? Where's our death line if, if, of trapped volume if this market was to go vertical? Which, so... So trader, one trader again said, "This is an uptrend. How did? Why do you? I, I thought you don't count. It's a downtrend. This is a downtrend. Day one, day two, day three. Okay, this area here is all caught. If this market breaks down, if it breaks down, they're going through the ramped volume. But it's also an inside day, as you said. So now let's look at this from an inside day perspective." as an inside day trade itself break out the low of the day they trigger breakouts right at the new york open at the low of the day three levels of rise escalator up step one step two step three let's bring our lower high here three steps up for the s elevator down we get to the low of the day and the new york open happens isn't that a coincidence that the new york open happens right as soon as they get to the low of the day isn't that unique now we have a slightly higher high at the beginning of the day we have an inside day on day three i'm going to just show a one minute coil for a reversal trade you can go and study this and back test this once this market reclaims the 20 ema on the one minute after taking out the low of the day i repeat after taking out the low of the day we have an opportunity to begin positioning ourselves back for the reversal after we've taken out the low of the day this market consolidates between the quarter level and double zeros into the end of the hour we have a new entry the last minute of the hour that's our second position we have a third opportunity as the market is about to accelerate and go vertical through the high of the day one two three for an explosive vertical reversal trade on the inside back through the high of the day trigger breakouts reverse the market on the New York Open, and blow through the high of the day. This creeping, slow, methodical movement down is a dead giveaway for a fast, explosive, vertical move back through this. It's all order flow for the reversal trade in the New York Open. And coming back to peak formation high, just highlight this. Peak formation low, consolidation. The consolidation was three levels of rise for a parabolic move. Parabolic move, 100 pips down. New York open. This is a 15 minute chart, pin hammer. But on our one minute, we have the opportunity to position ourselves in the market for an explosive reversal coil back through the high of the day. So there are opportunities in Asia, there are opportunities in London for parabolic trades, three session setups. We have these opportunities pretty much on a daily basis, depending on the session that you're trading. But I will reinforce that if you understand the power of a parabolic setup, you understand the scalability of them. And depending on the session that you're trading and the instrument that you're trading, the opportunity in terms of risk reward and whether or not that offers a significant best trade setup for you to trade. So keep it simple traders. Parabolics are where you can grow a small trading account fast. Keep it simple. 1% better every single day and may the markets go with you.